Repeated urethral obstruction despite medical management. Obstruction that cannot be relieved by urethral catheterization or catheterization that has resulted in significant urethral trauma and or stenosis. These are the reasons why vets will choose to perform perineal urethrostomy in your cats. If you want to find out more, stay tuned because that is coming up next. Welcome back guys, I'm Dr. Thresho and every week we post videos, cases, topics, and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. And this week, we are going to talk about perineal urethrostomy in cats. But before you proceed, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell button so that you get updated for whenever we post new videos in this YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Dr. Animal Wellness Center, Timo, Town, and North Edsa. And also find us on Instagram, Dogford's Animal Wellness Center, and my personal Instagram, Fritz Fresho. On with our topic for today, what is perineal urethrostomy surgery? A perineal urethrostomy, or sometimes referred to as PU, is a surgical procedure that is most commonly performed on male cats, mga lalaking pusa, with a urinary obstruction, yung nagbabara dahil hindi sila makaihi. No? This procedure removes the narrowest part of the urethra, so, in short, piniputol yung dulo ng daanan ng ihi, yung urethra, no? So, uh, to allow easier urination with a lower risk of reobstructions. Male cats develop urinary obstruction more readily than female cats due to the differences in urinary tract anatomy between the two sexes. Of course, while the female urethra is relatively short and maintains a consistent diameter as it travels from the bladder, to its external opening, the male urethra differs in that it is slightly longer and more importantly, it narrows as it enters the penis. This narrowing of the urethra predisposes male to urinary obstructions in which the urethra becomes blocked with stones, blood clots, mucus, or tumors. A perineal urethrostomy creates a new urinary opening that decreases the length of the urethra and allows urine to bypass this narrowed area. Less commonly, perineal urethrostomy may also be performed in cats with severe urethral trauma, a repeated catheterization of the penis, nagkakaroon ng trauma. So by allowing urine to exit the body before it reaches the damaged part of the urinary tract, for example, in the case of traumatic injury of the penis, your veterinarian can ensure that complications such as the scar tissue or infections do not cause urinary obstruction to your cat. When is perineal urethrostomy surgery recommended? Perineal urethrostomy surgery is most commonly recommended in the following situations. No? Number one, a urethral obstruction within the penis that cannot be removed through medical therapy. Typically, Urethral obstructions are dislodged by the passage of urinary catheter. Kapag nagpasok tayo ng urinary catheter, madidislodge na yung blockage. This catheter is advanced through the external opening of the urethra towards the bladder, papunta dun sa pantog where the, the urine is mostly stored. Any stones or mucus that are present within the urethra are flushed into the bladder where they can be addressed using medication or surgery. In the case of an obstruction that cannot be alleviated with a catheter, perineal urethrostomy may be required to re-establish urine flow and allow the cat to urinate. Number two, recurrent urethral obstruction. Yung palagi na lang nagkakaroon ng urethral obstruction yung ating cats. No? In some male cats, urinary obstructions may become a frequent occurrence. Once or twice 
Minsan na uulit pa, so even if these cats can be unblocked, cats who frequently reobstruct may benefit from a perineal retrostomy to decrease the likelihood of future obstruction. So, how is perineal retrostomy surgery performed? Your cat will undergo pre-surgical examination as well as pre-anesthetic blood testing prior to anesthesia. Kukuha na siya ng dugo, test, some exercise, maybe some ultrasound. This pre-surgical evaluation will allow your veterinarian to assess your cat's health status and ensure that he is a good candidate for anesthesia. If your cat is currently obstructed, he will be stabilized prior to surgery. Most of these cats are usually dehydrated or in pain, so they will be stabilized prior to surgery. This stabilization will involve administering intravenous fluids to correct dehydration and electrolyte abnormalities. Pre-surgical stabilization will make your cat a better candidate for anesthesia and decrease the likelihood of complications. Pagkatapos ng pre-surgical evaluation, your cat will be administered medications and placed under general anesthesia. The surgical site will be prepared. You shave ya from the hair and the area using surgical scrub to remove the bacteria from the surface of the skin in order to prevent infection. The surgeon will then perform the perineal urethrostomy by removing the penis. Yes, yung penis mismo yung tatagalin and suturing the deeper, larger diameter region of the urethra to the skin to create a new urinary opening. What aftercare is required following a perineal retrostomy? So after the surgery, your cat will be required to wear an Elizabethan collar, yung cone of shame, tiyawag ng iba, to prevent self-trauma to the surgical site. The surgical site will be itchy and painful and excessive licking can interfere with the healing and which can lead to infection and scar tissue formation. Your cat will also need to be kept calm and have his activity restricted. Your veterinarian may recommend confining your cat to a small area away from other pets where his activity can be limited and he can be closely monitored. Of course, this procedure cannot be without complications. So we always educate the owners about potential or acute complications such as number one, hemorrhage, reobstruction, urine dissection into the subcutaneous tissues, or incisional dehiscence, nagtatanggal yung pagkakatahi. Urinary tract infection because it's already fully open and urine scalding. Incontinence and stricture. Sumisikip ulit. So these are complications that may happen post-op with your cat. What are the expected outcomes after the perineal retrostomy? With appropriate pre-surgical stabilization, surgical technique, and aftercare, the prognosis for patients with perineal retrostomy is good. Occasionally, a stone may form that is too large to pass through the urethrostomy opening. However, this is uncommon and most cats do not reobstruct after a perineal urethrostomy. So that is it guys. If you have questions, please use the comment section below and I will try my very best to answer them. If you want to see me personally for a consult, you can visit any of our three clinics and we can make an arrangement for you. Or see any of our very competent veterinarians at Dockford's Animal Wellness Centers. Please, please, please visit our other videos too. You may learn a little thing or two. Okay, thank you very much for watching and see you again next week.